Hey everybody, welcome to the channel and um, I am doing a review on a portable washing machine. Um, they are very trendy, they're the trend right now and a lot of people are, you know, purchasing these mini washing machines, you know, because they're home and, you know, uh, with the shutdown and everything, you know, everybody figured they would get them a little wash machine it go it fits right into your bathroom and it's great to have now right here i could fit up to six shirts and two leggings i probably could fit probably like two more shirts or like some small pieces like socks or um underwear whatever and that got washed really good but the clothes get washed really good just so you know that the items that i put in here in this video in the washing machine in this video were all black items so it was really hard to see right here just want to show how i put the water into the, the washing machine i used the shower head um, I can use the water inlet, which you'll see later, but it doesn't reach the bathroom sink, but the shower head reaches from the shower to the um, washing machine really good. You see, it's just hitting it right, right there, so I do have to hold it. Which is not a problem because I don't wash and yeah, I probably wash clothes every other day. So it's not really a problem. And you see those lines where the um, the lines that go up and down. Well, you don't want to put too much water past those lines. You don't want to put water past those lines. And you don't want to put that much detergent in there because it'll get really soapy. Um, so they warn you about that right here is the timer I usually put um, the clothes that I've been washing for 12 minutes and I, I put like the first load I think I put it to 15 minutes so it works on that but I noticed that it does seem like a long time so I just started using it depends on what I'm washing on um, the clothes that I'm washing now isn't so dirty because they're just black tops and dark leggings so they don't need that much washing they're like lightly dirty so I put it to 12 minutes instead of 15 minutes and look how it spins it spins wonderfully the ticker goes down as you can see the time is going down and it's gonna go around it's gonna be exactly 12 minutes that my garments will wash now this is the water inlet i was telling you about and this is the holes right here that i could use to have the water go into that little holes and it'll go in automatically um, through a sink or maybe just like a water hose and that's how you put it on but later on I'll show you guys why I don't use it uh, it's because it doesn't reach to the bathroom sink but you can pour your own water into the washing machine with a shower head or just like a few bottles of water or a gallon or a pitcher of water in the bathroom this is the um, drain hose, as you can see, that's going into the bathtub. It's the drain hose. And I just want you guys to know that when you get your machine, um, the drain hose will be on either side of the machine. Now, the reason why that water is so black is because every garment I put in there was black or blue. So that's why it looks that dark. Um, but that is the drain hose. It comes with a water inlet hose and a drain hose. And you can put it on either side of the machine. Just like the water inlet um, little holes. You can see that it's on both sides of the washing machine. Which is freaking awesome. Um, I love this little machine. It's very convenient. And you know, um, you know, I used to go downstairs in the basement to wash. But now I can just stay at home wash. And guess what? But when you're washing your clothes, it's not going to automatically drain. You actually have to turn the dial to drain in order for the water to drain from.
from the washing machine so you don't have to worry about the clothes stopping and then it just starts draining it doesn't do that you have to turn that dial to drain in order for it to drain so right here i'm showing you the spin cycle now um when you wash your clothes you're washing it and it drains out the water but it doesn't spin the only time it'll spin is when you transfer the wash clothes into the spinner then you want to make sure you put those clothes in that spinner evenly so that it doesn't you know tilt or be unbalanced and I'm showing you how I'm shaking out the clothes you know I'm shaking them out making sure there's no wrinkles I'm making sure they're not bulgy and just slowly put them in there evenly so that you know the um, machine doesn't rock back and forth so you just want to go ahead and shake that out and add that to the spinner as I'm doing and um, so, also, what I just wanted to say is, with the timer, there's a wash time, um, which goes to 15 minutes. The highest it goes is 15 minutes, but it washes your clothes really good. You can have it on soft, normal, those just those two type of washing um, styles and then you have the drain and you it will only drain when you turn it to the dial so you can put your clothes in the washer walk away for 12 to 15 minutes come back and come back and drain your clothes later you don't have to stay on top of it but I will say when you do um, drain your clothes you want to make sure that the drain is in the bathtub or sink and make sure that you're watching it because you don't want the, the I never seen the drain holes like pop upside down and never done that I never seen it done that but um, you just want to make sure it's secured and that um, it stays in definitely you guys need to know that when you use this wash machine you have to have this wash machine you see how it is it's leveled up above the tub it needs to have gravity in order for that water to come out so say for instance if you put the wash machine on the floor in the kitchen and then you try to put the hose in the kitchen sink and have the water go into the kitchen sink it's not going to do that because the gravity of the water is not going to shoot up the drain and go into to the into the sink it's not going to do that you have to have the um washing machine above the bathtub so that the drain the drain pipe could lay down into the bathtub so the water flow can just go into the bathtub so you want to make sure you do that. Now, here's the water inlet, and I'm showing you now how far the hose is from my sink. It cannot fit. It cannot fit. So that's the reason why I cannot use it. But I'm still going to keep it. You know, you never know if I get like an extension. You always get like an extension or something like that. And that's the reason why I'm using the, the shower head. So you either use the water inlet hose or a shower head. Or you could just use buckets or whatever. Um, just don't pour it in your heart. Like gush it in there because you don't want to damage the machine. It's not super fragile. It's pretty cool. It's like a sturdy machine. So don't worry about that. So here's the drain, the drain hose. This can go on either side of the machine. It doesn't have to just go on the right side. It can also be switched over to the to the left side because it's it's in the middle of the machine and it goes either way. So now I'm going to take my clothes out of the spinner. When you take it out of the spinner, it doesn't completely dry your clothes, but I tell you that it gets it nearly dry like like an inch away from dry it's not even damp it's like a little wet so now i'm just just i got the um the dry hanger i want to put it on my um balcony but right now i have it in the living room just got it so 
you know, you just hang it up on there and it dries within a few hours and it doesn't take much for it to dry. But thanks for watching, guys. Peace. I hope you enjoy. Bye.